Hey, Dr. Sampson Davis. I'm here in the emergency department working today and I just had the craziest case just happen. Uh, a guy came in uh, from work. He was working at his house and he was using a chainsaw and he lost control of the chainsaw and it sliced his whole arm open. Now he's right-handed and unfortunately it cut his non-dominant arm open. And uh, he came in bleeding all over the place. He was able to get in a car and drive. And he did the smart thing, which is the right thing, is one, if you're going to drive in this sort of injury, he made sure to wrap the arm to use a lot of pressure to sort of minimize the bleeding. Very important if you have any laceration or any cut that you use pressure to help sort of minimize and decrease the amount of bleeding. So when he came in and I unwrapped the arm, I was blown away <laughs> by the injury and I, included some pictures that I found online so you could take a look and see the, the, the amount of damage that was there. The tissue was filleted open, there was muscle and, and fatty tissue hanging. And so I immediately put pressure on there. I uh, used lidocaine or medication or anesthetic to numb the arm so you wouldn't feel it. And I started the process of fixing the injury. Uh, so yeah, as you can see from the pictures, it was a pretty significant injury as, as these photos show. So the first thing I start off is I use a, uh, what we call uh, my suture material here. You can see a pretty thin thread here. And this needle is used to go into the skin. And I repaired the inner layer or the subcutaneous deep layer. I use absorbable sutures so those don't come out. And that helps to kind of bring back that wide gaping laceration to bring it closer together. And then I took uh, a staple gun here. You can see a staple gun. And so the staple gun is used as similar to a real staple gun in a sense, but this is for the skin. And I'm able to click here and the staples pop out. So as you can see, this is what a staple looks like here. I don't know if, so the staple looks small like that. That goes into the skin there. And so by doing so, I'm able to close the wound up. So the good thing is he's gonna have a full recovery uh, these situations happen often, that's why they call accidents, but he had a pretty long laceration, 10 inches. He will recover well, uh, gave him tetanus to make sure that was up to date, and tetanus, as you know, can cause an infection, uh, but we use a medication to help sort of prevent that from happening. You should have a tetanus shot every five to 10 years. So he's gonna have a full recovery, but he was cutting down some trees in his home, so either you always wanna take precautions and safety measures, wear goggles, when doing that type of work, but most importantly, hire someone. You know, if this, this is something that could be totally prevented and unfortunately it happened to him, and he'll be okay, but it's cheaper always to hire someone to go with a, a person who does this sort of landscaping and tree cutting as a livelihood, someone who's professional. Make sure, obviously, take care of yourself and do the best to minimize accidents.